I'm going to show you now how to make this three-tiered flower, like the one that I put on my headband that I made. I'm going to start with the small one, so you'll get an idea of what's going on here. I cast on 56 stitches. I'm using a softball cotton yarn and a size 6 needle. So we're going to knit the first stitch. We're then going to bind off three. So we knit one, we knit another stitch, we pull the first one over and off, binding off one, binding off two, binding off three. Then we knit one, and again we're going to bind off three. So we knit the first stitch, second, pull that up and off, one, two, three, bind off. Then we're going to knit one, and again bind off three. One, two, three. We're going to do this all the way across the row until we get to the last stitch. That's our last bind off and then we're going to just knit off the last stitch. And this is what your needle should look like. The next row is simply purl. So you're just going to turn the work around and purl all the way back as usual. Purl every stitch. And you'll see when you're purling that you're going to be closing in some of those holes. And this is what makes the ripple effect, or the ruffle effect, I should say. So we're ready to start our next knit row. And you'll see you have a lot fewer stitches on your needle. And for this row, it's going to be different. Going to knit one. We're going to bind off two stitches. So that's one and two. Then we're going to knit two stitches. One, two, and then we're going to bind off two stitches. One, two, and you're going to do that all the way across. Until you get to the last two stitches and we're going to just knit those two together. So you see we have even less stitches now and we're going to turn the work around and just purl back. This is going to be the last row for this little flower. We're going to knit one. We're going to knit two together. And we're just going to knit two together all the way across the row. Now that's all the knitting for this little flower. We're going to cut off a rather long tail. And then we're going to take a needle. We're going to put the thread through the eye of the needle. And then we're going to, from the opposite end, take the stitches off one by one. I ended up with eight stitches. If you end up with a few more or less, don't worry, it's going to be fine. We're just going to pull that through, like so, and then with our needle and thread, we're going to sew up the two sides of the flower, like so. And there, 
we have our first little sweet pink flower and we're ready to start with the next one.